COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. KPM telah membuat keputusan untuk meminda tarikh perperiksaan SPM pada 22 Februari 2021. Hey Google, how many days are there till SPM? Is in 100 days. In 2019, on the 27th of July, I started my 100-day journey to SPM. There's 100 days to SPM. Goal for SPM 2019 is indeed 9-8 plus. Throughout the journey, we had some ups. My heart is was brother. Some downs. I'm getting thoughts of like I'm not meant to be happy. But most importantly, it worked. Oh. Let's go! And in this video, I will show you how to start your own journey to getting straight A's in SPM. It's been nine months and I still can't believe it. Your boy is buzzing. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Asif. I'll just keep this there. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Okay, since you clicked on this video, I can tell that you want to achieve straight A's or straight A plus, And I respect the heck out of that. And I admire you so much. Some people don't even dare to dream that. But you do. It takes so much courage. So great job. But the hard truth is just having a dream is not enough. You need to work for it. You need to make sacrifices. You need to be disciplined. Only then will you be able to achieve success. So today is the hundredth day before SPM or whenever you're watching this. It's a big day. It's a huge day because as soon as this video ends, you're going to start working harder than you've ever worked before. And in the end, you're going to achieve your dream. Believe me, you are. So today is the hundredth day of your journey and I want you to start your journey by cleaning your room and keeping everything organized. This step is very underrated but it's actually one of the most important things that you can do. Reason behind this is because you are actually more likely to complete a task which you know everything about like you know what to do, when to do and so on compared to a task where you don't actually know what to do, you don't actually know when you want to do it and how you want to do it and so on. For example, I want to study at maths but I don't know what I want to study, I don't know what chapter, what book I'm going to use, when I'm going to study and these things prevent me from getting motivated because it's a mystery your mind doesn't like mysteries it likes to be clear it needs clarity so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna give our subconscious mind clarity so how you're gonna do it is I want you to go through every single book every single paper every single file that you have and I want you to separate them into two sets one pile is gonna be everything that you're actually gonna use and another pile is going to the bin remove everything that you don't need you only have a hundred days so don't waste time keeping unnecessary things if you think you're not gonna do it you're not gonna have time to do it keep it aside maybe not through yeah keep it aside so next your study place wherever that may be I want you to keep it as neat as tidy as possible because you're gonna be spending so much time here keeping it neat and organized will definitely help you in the long run it just gives you a little motivation here and there because you already have a clean neat place so might as well use it right also I believe that when one's surrounding is clean and organized it's a reflection of one's mind so if you keep everything physical organized your mind will be organized as well Secondly, I want you to remove all distractions. This is another thing that I see most people don't do, but it's actually 100% necessary. I can guarantee that at least 80% of you watching are addicted to some sort of social media. The absolute best way to overcome an addiction is to remove them completely from your life. I know that some people will say, oh, what if there's an emergency or what if my friend's gonna text me? Newsflash honey, there isn't gonna be any emergency and no one's gonna wanna text you. <laughs> If there is some sort of emergency going on, you will receive the news via WhatsApp or Telegram. Keep those two apps and ask your friends to text you personally there if they have any questions. Because you can either sacrifice all this temporary joy now and achieve success later, or you can enjoy now, you scroll through social media however much you want, and end up sacrificing your success. You choose social media or SPM. Three months without social media, it's nothing. And from experience, I can guarantee you that your future self will thank you for sacrificing social media. Trust me. Develop a homeless mindset. One of the reasons that I started my journey was to actually forget everything that I've achieved and start fresh. I took down all my certificates, I removed the soft bed, and I didn't reward myself with anything whatsoever. The reason behind this is because I made myself believe that I have absolutely nothing and SPM is everything. All my past achievements, my Coco Marks, my medals, everything will mean absolutely nothing if I don't get strays in SPM. And that's a fact. You can have the highest Coco Marks in Malaysia, but if your SPM is meh, you've pretty much 
much wasted your time. So what's my message here? I want you to humble yourself. SPM is the single most important thing in your life to take and I want you to treat it that way. Don't say that SPM is just another exam or SPM won't determine my future. You're supposed to say those things after you get your SPM results, not a hundred days before. By saying SPM won't determine your life, you've already given up. Last year when I took my SPM, I told myself I had two options. Either I get straight A's and my life is going to be very, very easy or I don't get straight A's and I have failed my future self. Now let's say I didn't get straight A's. Will that mean that I have failed in life? No, absolutely not. We say these things to motivate ourselves. Words have power. When you say that SPM is everything, you're putting your past, your present, your future, you're putting everything on the line. And when you pressurize yourself that much, watch yourself turn into a beast. Nothing is going to stop you. Next up, always keep SPM in your mind. This is a bit different, which I don't think many people do, but basically I made sure that everywhere I look, there will be something reminding me of SPM. I made the SPM schedule into my wallpaper and my phone so that every time I check my notifications or I use my phone, I will get reminded of SPM. And I also printed and hung my goal for SPM and a few other motivational quotes around my room so that every time I wake up, every time I sleep, I just always get reminded of SPM. Actually, talking about these friends, frames you see this bad boy here if i'm right i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure there's something special behind it spm 9a plus in the front blah 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 and when you look at the back i actually signed it on the 28th of july 2019 a hundred days till spm ah oh, damn it i actually might get emotional it's so worth it guys, believe me. You have to give it everything you got. You only have one shot. When you get the results that you want, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. There's nothing like it. You have to give it your all. I'm telling you. Count down every single day. You see this whiteboard right here? I use that exact whiteboard to count down my days till SPM. Every morning before you start your day, I want you to count down. By doing this, not only will you become aware of how long you have left till SPM, but you'll also give yourself a small scare every morning before you start your day, and this will motivate you to make every day count. You have to do at least something every day, no matter how small that is. Every step counts, even if it's a small baby step. Another benefit to counting down is you'll be able to plan your days better. The closer you get to SPM, you will know how to manage your days well like what you should study on what day and how long you should allocate for a single subject to add to this every single morning when you count down I want you to say to yourself that you can do it it's something like this I have 90 days left and I got this I have 76 days left and I believe in myself I have 50 days left and I believe that I can achieve my dream again words have power I believe in the law of attraction conceive believe achieve so when you really believe that you can do it and you're putting positive energy out to the universe you will achieve your dream bottom line it's very good to have a countdown which you physically change every day and yeah these are pretty much the things that I did on a hundred days before SPM it's more of a mental preparation than a physical one because your mind is the strongest asset remember this this journey is going to be the hardest thing that you've ever done and you need to have a rock solid mindset to fight through hopefully by doing this you will become mentally prepared for spm my next video will be my tips to score in spm subscribe so you don't miss out please leave a like if this video was in any way beneficial to you it really motivates me to make more videos like this because i have exams next week and college is really hard also if you have any questions or video requests feel free to comment down below or just text me in my social media and yeah that's all from me good luck and as always aim for the best never settle for less and let God handle the rest. Peace!